Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks, and today I'll be showing you how I created this title animation in Adobe After Effects. Alright, so here's what my composition looks like in After Effects. It's a fairly simple animation, just six layers. So today I'll just be showing you guys each step that I took in order to make this title animation. So let's just go up and make a new composition. Frame rate 24, duration will be 160. You can make this as long as you want, this doesn't really matter too much. Before we get started on the actual animation, let's just drag the gradient in here. And we'll use this layer as the background. And then as we're animating, we can use the eyedropper tool to grab some colors from the background. All right, so let's just lock that layer. And next we'll go up and grab the pen tool, make a straight line across like this. And then we can just make this stroke width thicker. We can bring it up to about 190. Go ahead and align this to the center. And we will name this layer line one. And we'll drag this line up just a little bit because we're gonna have that text that comes in underneath. Once we have our line drawn out, let's go over to this line layer and bring this arrow down. And we're gonna click this arrow right here that says add. And we're gonna add trim path. Once your trim path is created, open up that option and we'll go and create a end keyframe right at the beginning and then 40 frames in add another and let's adjust this first keyframe so it's at zero percent then what we can do is highlight both keyframes and hit fn f9 and that'll automatically easy ease for you so let's see what that looks like so far All right, that's looking pretty good so far, but let's just adjust the speed of this. So we'll highlight this and drag this yellow dot to the left all the way till your influence is at 100%. And we can make this one about 10%. So that'll make it come in really fast and then it'll slow down as it gets towards the end. Let's see that. There we go. And then for the outro, we're gonna have it start from this side and go this way. So now we need to make a start keyframe and we'll go to 150 and make another one and bring that up to 100%. And that's easy ease these keyframes as well. And we'll slow the speed up so it eases out real slow like that. So it goes in real fast let it hang there for a bit and then speed out. Let's just drag these over a little bit so it doesn't hold on the name for too long. All right, so now that that line is good, we're gonna duplicate this line one layer. So Command D and we're gonna bring this one underneath and we'll change the color of this stroke to purple like that. And if we play that back, we'll see this white line is still on top, but underneath we have the purple line. So what I like to do just to make sure there's no purple peeking out from behind, I'll just make this stroke a few points smaller. So we'll bring it down to 188. And then let's select both layers and hit U on your keyboard and that'll bring up all your keyframes. For line one, bring these over to the right five frames. So now when the line comes in, the purple line will come in first and the white line will follow like that. And then for the outro, we're going to want the white line to come first. So we'll drag the line two keyframes to the right five frames. Looks good. So now all we need to do is add the text. So let's just go right to the middle where the line is fully completed and we'll grab our text tool, go right on top and I'll just type out my name. And we'll make that purple as well. Pick out a font you like and get it nice and centered like that. So now we have this text over the line, but as you see, it's showing up even when the line isn't there. So we want it to only show up when the white line is there. So in order to do that, we need to make a mask. All we need to do for that is grab this line one, 
Command D and it'll create a duplicate. Bring this line on top and we can rename this one line mask. And then go over here to your track mat and then select line mask. So now this text will only show up when the white line is showing. And just to add one more detail, we'll have this text slide to the right as the line opens up. So highlight your text layer and hit P on your keyboard. That'll open up your position keyframes. Create a keyframe right here and right about there. And this first keyframe, just drag it to the left a little bit, just a little bit. And then we'll easy ease these keyframes and drag this one to your left so it's at 100%. And now if we hit play, you'll see it's slowly dragging to the right as it comes in. I think if we move this to the right a little bit, it'll look better. Let's see that. Yep, there we go. Maybe just a little bit more actually. Nice. All right, that's cool. So now we'll just add our final line underneath. So that's one more text layer right here. And I'll just type out Illustrator Animator. And we'll make this white. And we'll make the font thinner actually, and we'll just make it a little bit smaller as well. bring out the tracking like this. So then just put that right where you want it to end up. And we'll bring this layer down underneath all of the lines because it's gonna be hidden behind this line. So right about here at 25 frames, we wanna add a position keyframe to this bottom text. Add one right there and then we'll add another right around 60. So on this 25 keyframe, we're gonna bring it up and behind the line. We can easy ease these. Bring this one back to 100%. And we can bring this one down to about 10% as well. So let's play that. Looks pretty good. I think I want to make this quicker. So we'll bring it this way to 50. That looks good. And then we're going to bring it back up right before the line starts disappearing. So right about here, we're going to need it to be gone. So let's at a keyframe here, we'll go back about 15 keyframes or so, add another one. And for this keyframe, we'll bring it back up and behind the line. So again, we'll adjust the speed. We'll have it slowly start moving up behind the line. So we'll drag this one out to 100%. And our final step will just be to cut this Illustrator animator layer down so that it's not showing before the line appears so we can just go right to this beginning point right here and hit option left bracket and that'll cut the layer so that it's not showing before this red part and same thing at the end option right bracket and then just drag it to the left one frame all right so let's just hit u on our keyboard so we can see all the keyframes that we have this is the end right here so we can have it loop at about 150 keyframes. So go to 149 and hit N on your keyboard and that'll create a loop right at 150. So let's take a look at what we got. All right, that looks pretty good. If we wanted to make it shorter, we can just highlight all the keyframes like this drag them this way 
and then we'll just have to make sure that this is right at the end of the keyframes for the illustrator animator text so now it'll be a little bit shorter of a pause with the full text all right and that's it that's how you make a quick title animation in adobe after effects drop a comment if you have any questions don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace